Hello, hello everyone! Happy Hemp Day or Wednesday, depending on your, if you are a hempy or not. Um, but I wanted to come on here and do this daily affirmation with you guys. I'm super excited. Um, it, it really, it's like when someone finally tells you to just sit down after all the hard work and that you are going to get your reward, it just feels so good. And that's what today feels like for me. It just feels like there is a reward coming my way and I want you guys to feel it too. So I have this little upbeat in my, my voice today, the tone in my voice and you know I think that it really does uplift us if we just change the tone of our voice. So. And of course, I pre uh, I proactively pray in the morning and do a little stretch. So I've been using those four tips. Hey, baby. I've been using those four tips in the morning um, to really just start my day off right. And being able to exercise in bed, doing that little bit of a stretch, and, and you know, opening my mind and kind of uh, challenging myself in the morning to... <laughs> You're going to distract me with all the hearts, baby. Um, but no, focusing on the things that you want for your day and proactively praying for that and getting out of bed properly. So that has helped. Um, and of course, a good breakfast. We always want to nurture ourselves. And my coffee. Okay, so we're going to start with what Jesus has to say today to us. And it says on April 24th, rest in the stillness of my presence while I prepare you for this day. Let the radiance of my glory shine upon you as you wait on me in com a conf confident trust. Be still and know that I am God. There is both a passive and an active side to trusting me. As you rest in my presence, focus on me. I quietly build bonds of trust between us. When you respond to the circumstance of your life with affirmations of trust, you actively participate in this process. Hey Alexis! Um, I am always with you, so you have no reason to be afraid. Your fear often manifests itself to excessive planning. Your mind is so accustomed to this pattern of thinking that you are only now becoming aware of how pervasive it is and how much it hinders your intimacy with me. Repent. Hey, love. Um... Repent of this tendency and resist it whatever, whenever you realize you are wandering down this well-worn path. Return to my presence, which always awaits you in the present moment. I accept you back with no condemnation. Condemnation. So I really needed that, guys. Okay. Um, I really feel like me doing these daily affirmations first of all it just came in my heart like the god uh, like god gave me this book i've had this forever hey amy and i just started getting into it like as you see it's day by day so there is one for every day and just somewhere in march i was like look i'm gonna read this i really need his word right now i need something and Ever since then, like, every day has been described to me that this is your agenda, this is your new life, trust in me, and we're going to go somewhere. And I feel like I'm going somewhere. I, I'm helping people. I'm starting to see some regulars pop on. Um, although I just had someone ask about my company and getting in, and he's like, do I have to do yoga? And, like, do I have to do this and that? And it's like... Whatever I do works for me. I feel that everybody has a plan. Um, God has a plan for them, should I say. And I really feel like this whole plan that he has for me is starting to really work out. And he's showing me that with me trusting him, that things are coming my way. And I have to say thank you to the couple of people that are starting to 
uh, you know, get into my business because I feel that I've, I've slacked on the business part, but spiritually I'm growing and God's going to take care of the rest. Um, and I say that with confidence because I truly feel that like me spreading this word is growing. It's, it's making me grow as a person. And if you're not growing, then nothing's going to change. And if nothing changes, you're not going to find success. So I'm finding this, this whole new successful way of life that I never really had before because as he's saying I am such a planner I am such a jitterbug when it comes to trying to get things done um, you know is it the right way are we doing it the proper way do we have enough time are we on time that kind of thing and I know some of that comes with us moms but I've really found this more patient, accepting, and understanding that there is, it's okay not to understand. When you don't understand something, you don't have to freak out about it. Like, I literally give it to the Lord, I talk to Him about it, and within me being patient and talking to Him, He reveals why He does the things that He does, and why these situations happen. And the only way you can experience that is truly sitting back, being still, finding his presence, and being intimate with him so that he can reveal what he's doing in your life. And that's really my daily affirmation today is I am a child of Christ and I trust him without boundaries. I have to know that I cannot lean on my own understanding. I have to trust him. This is supernatural. This is not something that is is the norm for humanity. It's not it does not make sense to us. A lot of questions we have are not going to be answered if we just seek it in our own understanding. We have to look beyond that and we have to trust in the Lord. And me doing that has done so much in my life. And I mean, I, like I said, this has been, I started this, reading this about a month ago, maybe not that long ago. Um, but since then, my family has grown closer. My, uh, every, every worry I had has been drifted away. You know, all of these things that I wanted to do for myself all of this that I wanted to do and become so selfish about has gone away. It is not, this is, yes, this is our life to live, but there's certain things that when, when God comes in your life, you are literally reborn in that supernatural feeling of reborn. Um, that's where people, they look at you and there's like, they're like, wow, you're completely different. And you know, you're, you, you know, you, you weren't ever like this, and oh, I can't believe that that was you, and this is you now, and, and it's because there is another chapter that is in your life. God changes you in so many different ways, and I have found so much peace within that. I have seen so much light, so much joy, and so much contentment that came from this, this journey that I'm on. Hey, Wesley. Um, hey, Li uh, Lisa, Lindsay, Mary. <laughs> hey, everyone. Um, so I really hope that there is some, some part that you see in your life where God is shining on you and is, is whether you're in a dark place, whether you're, you're not feeling good and you've got health problems going on, whether your family feels like it's being torn apart, um, just don't feel like you're abandoned and you're alone. God is supposed to be your hidden place. He is supposed to be able to bring light to you, bring peace to you. And the only way that that will happen is if you give that trust to him and you talk to him and you're, you're there with him. And um, that's where that intimacy word comes in. We really have to be at friendship with him. I know that he is my best friend and I absolutely love it because if I didn't have Jesus in my life, I would be, I was, I was becoming a wreck 
being home alone with this three-year-old, it ain't easy. This life itself is not easy. So why not go to the one person that can help you through it and that can answer all of your questions and bring this supernatural love and healing and understanding in your life. Like, I don't, under, I don't know how else to say that. It is not in our human life how to explain how God is. I just know that I feel his presence and he is talking to me saying, you are being still, you are having this relationship with me and I will reward you. And you guys have to know that too. It is an opportunity just as much to me as it is for you. So I'm going to start this song. I am pumped. I'm going to do a little bit of yoga while I can and I have to hop off here soon. But I love this song. It's very, very relaxing. Again, I'm pumped. Sorry, guys. Happy hemp day. All right, I'm going to hop back. Hey, Belinda. If you guys missed it, yes. So, and the biggest thing about friendship, Mary, is... Being one with all of us, we have to come together, find that tribe as we call it, and bring God's present in that, and, and be bring accountability to each other, which I'll talk about another day. Um, but there's so much to the, to, to the friendship and the life that God has given us. And we have to find one another and be there for each other, even the ones that may not be Christians. It's not about that. It's about doing your mission that God needs us to do. All right, we're going to start with some breathing. Thank you all for hopping on. It's a beautiful day, not too hot. And we're going to let it all go. I love it every time I come on the mat. I just feel so honored to be here. Isn't that kind of crazy? You don't have to be on a mat. You could, you could be in a chair. You could be standing. But just feeling honorable for this day, for, and in the same sense, being grateful for all that I have. Just filling my heart with all the good and letting go of all the bad and all the unnecessary. Wherever you're at, just make sure you're standing, sitting tall. Do some neck movements. You guys hear the owl? Here, I'll stand to show you guys that you can do this standing as well. We're just leaning back and rolling it all forward. Make sure you're breathing out. your heart and your 
purpose. And when you're ready, we're going to bring it all the way over. Thank you, ladies, for popping in. I also see some more people. And we're just stretching those arms. stretch in your back. If you need to be up here, that's fine as well. And as you exhale, you may find that you have fallen more into that bend. It's so important for us to take care of ourselves and seek God the strength that he gives us. Just showing that you can breathe within the struggle, guys. You got it. guys are on the replay, please let me know so I can give you a shout out. stretch in the morning or exercise? What is your preference? And let me know if yoga is new to you. Again, we're going to pedal those legs out. Make 
make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. And if you guys can't watch it now, you can always do the save on, um, on this video and you can always check back on it. Or I have a yoga page as well that I will be sharing it to. hands to heart again. I hope you guys feel so grateful and so blessed wherever you are in your life and to know that there is people out there and um, or there are people out there that are able to talk with you and uplift you and bring back uh, God's promises and words to you. Um, you know, he, he hasn't changed then, he won't change now, and he never will. Um, so he's got a plan for you guys. And I hope that you're able to find this stillness and the relationship with him and grow within it. It's, it's a beautiful journey. And um, I hope you all are doing good. And I will talk to you again soon. Thank you all for popping in. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.